Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, the second in this particular series dealing with the affine cipher. Uh, the previous video de dealt with the encryption cycle where we took a piece of plain text, uh, we mapped it to its numerical representation, we passed it into the encryption uh, algorithm to give us our cipher characters or cipher text yeah uh, and we remapped it back to the actual the actual characters in our alphabet uh, that was the first phase uh, what this phase is going to concentrate on is the decryption phase that's where we go from our piece of cipher text back into our plain text uh, and as I defined in the previous in the previous video there's an algorithm or there's a formula for uh, undertaking this particular procedure uh, the decryption formula the decryption uh, let's say cycle uh, relies oh, cycle relies on a particular formula that says the plain text that you're going to recover uh, is equal to a inverse times the cipher text in numerical form minus b modulo m where m is the size of the alphabet so let's just go back through this again. So we have an alphabet, in this case the English alphabet, has 26 letters, so M is equal to 26. Okay. Uh, we had previously decided on what the value of A was, the value of A was equal to 15. Uh, we also decided on the value of B, the value of B was equal to 7. Uh, and with these three values we pass them into the encryption uh, algorithm or the encryption formula to give us our corresponding uh, cipher text numbers okay each number representing a particular character we look that character up on that number up on our template to give us the actual character of cipher of cipher text okay so to do the decryption what we do is we take the numerical representation of a piece of cipher text. So, for example, we take x, which is represented as 23, and that represents our c. The b value is simply the b value that we chose in the encryption phase, which is 7. The m value is the size of our alphabet, which is 26. So our c, our b, and our m will, will all be given. Okay? We know what a is. a is 15. But for this particular algorithm, we need to calculate. Okay? We need to calculate... Uh, the inverse, the inverse, and that's an important word, yeah, the inverse of A, okay, uh, modulo, modulo, modulo M, okay. When we talk about inverses, because we're dealing with integers, I suppose the real question we're asking is this, is can we find some value, okay, that when we multiply it, so can we find some value X, that when we multiply it by A, okay, and when we divide by m to see what the remainder is, we get 1. So actually the formula is we need to find an x such that a times x is equal to 1 modulo, modulo m. Okay? Now, we know what the a value is. Okay? Our a value was always was 15. So what we need to do is we need to find some, some candidate x values okay? uh, that when we multiply them together and when we calculate the modulo of this product, okay? this product we get we get one okay so some candidates are zero okay so zero uh, could be the inverse of a but let's see what we get so we have 15 times zero gives us zero zero modulo 26 well 26 goes into zero zero times with a remainder of zero so the remainder here the remainder that we get in this case here is, is zero. We want to find a remainder of one. Okay? If we find a remainder of one based on this formula, that means x is the inverse of 15. So in this case, when x is zero, that doesn't work. So let's try another case. So a is still 15, and this time we choose x is equal to one. The product of 15 and one gives us 15. Modulo 26. Well, 26 goes into 15 zero times, or a remainder of 15. And once again, the 15 here is not 1, so what we know is that 1 is not the multiplicative inverse of 15. We continue on. We have 15. Next candidate is 2. 2 times 15 is 30. What is 30 modulo 26? Well, 26 goes into 30 once, with a remainder of 4. 
Once again, the remainder in this case is not 1, so we know that 2 is not the multiplicative inverse of 15. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue in this fashion, going through candidates, yeah, until we find the candidate value that when we multiply by A, we get a product. When we calculate its modulo, we get a remainder of 1, okay? Uh, now, I've done this out in Excel, okay? Uh, here's, here's the Excel output. It's probably a little bit hard to read. But actually, I'm going to go down through the remainders, and actually this is the, this is the row that I'm interested in. And let me show you that, okay? So, when we go down to 15, and when we go down to a candidate 7 for the inverse, well, 7 15s, well, 7 15s is going to be 105, okay? And we have to calculate what is 100, 105 modulo 26. Well, 105 divided by 26 goes in approximately four times. So what we know is that 105 is equal to 26 times 4 plus some remainder. What's the remainder? Well, 26 times 4 is equal to 104. So what we know is that 105 has to be equal to 104 plus some remainder. And clearly the remainder here must be equal to 1 because 104 plus 1 okay, will give us 105. So what we know now is this is that when we multiply 15 by 7, that 7 is the inverse, okay, is the inverse of 15. So for our algorithm, okay, we have just figured out that a, well, a is equal to 15, and therefore we have a inverse is equal to, is equal to 7, okay, uh, because, I suppose, well, because a times a inverse, okay, is equal to 1 modulo modulo m. And what I mean by that is 15 times 7 is equal to 105 modulo m. Well, we know it goes in 4 times, gives us a remainder of 1. So now we know A inverse. Okay, well, that was a little bit complicated, okay, but the important thing here is that we always choose our value A is constant, and we go to all possible candidates of x, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, yeah, until we find some pairing of them when we calculate the product, okay, and when we calculate the product modulo the size of our alphabet, we should get a remainder of 1. So in this case here, we get a remainder of 1, and what we know is that this particular solution here gives us our inverse, and our inverse in this case is 7. So, when it comes to the decryption cycle, Okay. And when I want to decrypt this particular sequence of text here, okay, I now know that A inverse must be equal to 7. So let me write them values down again. So what we have now is we have M is equal to 26, the size of our alphabet. 